Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel and today I have another Killstar haul for you. Uh, I do apologise for putting out two hauls in a row, I do try to sort of usually break up different types of video with other types of video in between but uh, it just so happened that I had a few hauls planned recently and this one I really really wanted to get up today because assuming I do get it up today when it's supposed to go up um, this collection actually hasn't launched yet and is launching tomorrow so I wanted to like give you guys the sneak peek before it even comes out, you know? Um, but I will have some more types of videos coming next week, so bear with me. But I think most of you guys really like hauls anyway, so <laughs> I don't know, I'm just, I worry too much. But we have some really cool things that, as I say, aren't actually out yet, I don't believe. And as well as that, this one is special because I'll be doing it a little bit joint with my boyfriend. Because every now and again, I do get comments on this channel asking to show, like, male clothes as well, which you know, I don't really get, like some of this, well, I believe all clothes are unisex, you know, it doesn't matter if you're, you know, male, female or anything else, you can wear whatever clothes you want, but I do understand that some people, you know, prefer to dress feminine or masculine, and my style does tend to be much more on the feminine side of things, uh, so I don't show a ton of more masculine clothes on here, so I thought I would do a little joint thing with my boyfriend, he'll be done soon to show the bits he got, I think I got like four things for this haul? roughly and he got three something like that but yeah I'll just start showing you the pieces that I got so the first thing is a very cute dress and it is so nice and comfortable and it is this little guy which you can't see at all because everything in this room is black I am wearing black and just I can kind of put it up against my face and that's about the best you can get out of it <laughs> so yes this is a very nice little I guess quick kind of a skater dress style dress and it has this lovely lace bit all at the top, so the sleeves, the shoulders, and along the chest here are lace. It also has a little cut out detail along the chest, and then the lace is up here at the front of the neck, and at the back it just zips all the way up. And this I am so, so happy with. It also has lace trim along the bottom, which makes me really happy because I love that sort of detail. And it's just, this is going to be so nice for summer because like, the material is very, very thin, not in a bad way. It's that nice, like, thin, but kind of, like, heavy, drapey material. And it's just so comfortable. You can tell it's going to be really lovely and airy for the summer. It is decently stretchy. There's definitely plenty of stretch to it, which is always great. It is a bit see-through. Um, it definitely does go quite sheer. Um, so I guess it just depends whether or not you prefer to go braless or not, whether that will be a big issue for you. And I, I suppose also, like, the size of your chest. Um, I don't have super huge boobs, so it's not terrible. I don't. I haven't watched back the footage from the try on yet um, to see how bad it is in daylight. Inside, it's fine. The material, it like it's, as I say, is quite thin. So I mean, you can definitely see like the shape of things through it. Um, but inside, you can't like see, you know, properly through it. So I'll see if it's bad in the daylight when I check the try on footage. But yeah, for me, it's not too bad. But I imagine if you had like very, very big boobs and it was stretched out more, then you might have an issue with it. But you see, you can kind of see whenever I stretch it. But overall, it's not too much of an issue. And because it is a skater dress, it's not see through, like, you know, down where it hangs. It's just anywhere where it's tight, you might have that issue. Which honestly, I wish wasn't an issue because, like, they're just boobs. It shouldn't be that much of a problem. But. That's the world we live in. But yeah, so definitely happy with this. It is comfortable, it is stretchy, it is slightly see-through, and I think that's everything there is to mention, isn't it? I had to just check my notes there, but I think I covered everything. So yes, 100% happy with this. Really love it, so comfy and just, okay, it's, it's nice. This is a very comfy haul, actually. Everything I got in this haul, like, I was wearing an outfit made out of things from this earlier, and I literally stormed around the house like, so comfy, because I was just, I was feeling it. So the next two things, um, whenever I show the try on, it'll actually be together because I actually like to wear them as an outfit. So whenever I finish talking about one and you don't see the try on, don't worry, it's coming right after the other one. So uh, I will start with the bottoms and it is these. So it is these lovely bell bottoms. And again, so comfy. So yeah, they're like bell bottoms and they're all black, but you can see they like have this printed on detail that you can kind of see when the light hits it, which is so pretty. It's all like, I don't know what you would call the bottom. 
like filigree, I don't know, it's like just like nice, but then it comes up in like little sparkles and stuff, and it's just like really subtle but really cute. They are quite high waisted, and these things are stretchy, like these are so, so stretchy. Ooh, just took some of the foundation off my nose. Uh, but yeah, they are super, super stretchy, so that is not a worry. I actually really, really wish I had sized down for these, because I tend to buy true to size with bottoms, but I definitely could have went like went to size down with these better. Um, like they do fit, I can wear them, but they do tend to, they won't fall all the way down, but like definitely with the high waist and stuff, they do tend to ride quite low down, where like, you know, I feel like my butt cracks probably out. So I do wish I had actually sized down for these. For me, these definitely run a bit big uh, going off the typical Killstar like trouser size charts. Um, but I can wear them, so it's not the end of the world. You know, I could return them and get another size. But I like, I don't know if it's just me, but I can never be bothered returning things. Like, unless there is a massive disaster, I'll avoid it at all costs. I'll probably actually just bring these into my tailor and see if they can just take them in ever so slightly and that'll be fine. So as I say, it just doesn't feel worth the hassle of doing returns. I'm actually tempted to get another pair of these and like maybe have them for the gym because like the material they are, they're so like stretchy and like light and comfortable that I feel like these would actually be great for like, you know, yoga and stuff probably so I am very tempted to have like a gym pair of these because I don't know I just I really do enjoy them just realized I forgot to do my summary so <laughs> they are very comfortable they are stretchy I'd say they run a bit big personally um so I tip I would prefer to size down but you know kind of go with your instincts based on your own size and I do not think these go see-through as far as I've been able to tell I think like you would have to, they would have to be very, very tight on you, you know, I think they'd have to be like quite a bit too small on you before they would be stretchy enough to be see-through, so you should be fine with these, I would say. I'm so glad that I found out that I can wear uh, trousers and stuff from Killstarks. I don't really own any trousers at all, um, because typically they just, they never fit me well, like, they're, like the crotch is always way too low, they're made for short people, whatever, these are actually very, very long. Um, I find them best actually wearing like a bit of a platform otherwise I feel like they would you know drag along the ground a bit and I'm tall so like that's quite impressive to me and I don't know like I obviously buy in the larger end of the size spectrum so I don't know maybe if smaller sizes are shorter because some clothes work that way but uh, yeah so they actually are quite long so worst comes to worst if you're a very short person you might need to get those taken up a little bit but for me I just stick on a chunky shoe and it's all good so the top part um, of this outfit that I like to wear is actually a dress. I don't know if I'm the only person who wears trousers with dresses, but I think it's cute. And it is this, and again, it looks like nothing because the, everything is a swarm of black, but again, it has the same sort of thing. It's a very similar print. I think they might even have the same name if I'm not mistaken, but I could be wrong, but it is like the same sort of print. And it has this cool sort of like crescent shape on the front and it has all the sparkles and the swirlies and then it actually has like these uh, bell sleeves I guess they'd be called and again it, it almost looks like silver and glittery here but it's not it is actually black but then it's just when the light hits it it shines like that which just makes for such a beautiful subtle effect I love the print Ooh. and then on the chest there is like a little crisscrossy detail which is very nice and this is a nice cold shoulder type dress, which I love because again, in the summer, you know, it means it's like quite light and like your shoulders can be bare and stuff, but it covers up the parts of my arms that I hate the most, which is like under here. I oh, loathe this area right here because whenever uh, I had the weight gain from the antidepressants, this is where all the stretch marks happened. And ugh, I just think it looks so, ugh. So I hate wearing anything without sleeves. So it's nice that I can have this like, like, you know, bare shoulders and stuff, but still have that covered up with this. So that is pretty cool. Again, so very, very stretchy. Um, it is, again, in a sort of like skatery style, I think, you know, like flares out. And yeah, it is so, so comfortable. I love wearing this with the trousers. Like, I feel like I'm wearing pajamas, you know? Like, I'm out and about in the world, but I feel like I'm wearing pajamas. I might look like I'm wearing pajamas as well because they match, but I don't care. I am, I am happy with my goth pajama look. And uh, yeah, it's similar material to the first dress I showed, but I feel like a little bit heavier um, and a little bit less see-through. It's not quite as sheer. Like I feel, again, if you really stretched it, I don't know how see-through that looks to you. Like I can see through it a bit when I'm doing this, but I don't know if you can see me. <laughs> Do you get me? <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's not as see-through as the other dress, but it is very stretchy, very heavy, and like 
See, it's like quite bouncy if you get me. And uh, yeah, just no bad things to say about this. I love it. Guys, if I forget to mention the sizing of something, because we all know I'm forgetful and it'll probably happen, if I don't mention it, that means it fit me as I expected it to. So just in case I forget, if I don't have any complaints about the sizing, then it means it's good, it's, it's fine, there's no problems with it. So yes, this did fit me how I expected it to. And then the last thing that I got is this super amazing like hoodie thing that I am in love with it. Oh, oh, okay. So first off, it has like, this is all hood. It has the biggest gosh darn hood. Like, there's a lot of hood there. Uh, it doesn't fasten in any way, so it doesn't actually close. Like there's no zip, there's no buttons. It doesn't close up at the front, but it's really huge. So you can like wrap it the whole way around yourself and be super comfy. Uh, I did order um, a size up in this because with things like this, it's just like, even though it's already a baggy style, I'm like, more baggy, <laughs> you know, like, things must be huge, I want to live in them. Uh, the sleeves are really nice and long, which is always appreciated. It has thumb holes, you guys know how I feel about the thumb holes. Um, so yeah, we have little thumb holes here, which is always nice. And then the, like, shoulders and sleeves have really co cool details. So, on one side, you know, we have this, like, lacing, we have, like, a little buckle here. And then on the other side, we have like more buckly detail, you know, we've got some more lacing. And yeah, it's so cool. And like I said, I just love the fact that it's so like big and drapey and billowy and you can just like wrap it the whole way around yourself. I just feel like really small and safe whenever I'm all wrapped up in it. So I actually like to wear this with the other two uh, things I was just showing. And then it's like the comfiest in the world. I'm like so comfy cozy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I absolutely love this. Love this. There isn't a ton to say in this, like, it's not particularly stretchy, but with something like this, it doesn't really need to be, unless you have, like, maybe very big arms, I don't know, like, maybe if you're, like, super muscly or something, I don't know if this would be tight or not. Uh, I do not have muscly arms, so that's not an issue for me, but yeah, it's not particularly stretchy, but doesn't need to be. It's obviously not see-through. <laughs> Uh, the sizing I sized up and it's a very loose, purposefully baggy style, so I guess it did fit as expected, um, in the sense that it doesn't fit at all and it's very loose and drapey, which is what I wanted, <laughs> and how I think it's designed to be. Yeah, it's just, it's very comfortable, like I'm, I am happy with everything about this. Okay, so let me get the boy. Uh, I got this top. It's like a three-quarter sleeve shirt, um, which actually works out really well for me because I'm always rolling up my sleeves with long sleeve tops anyway. Mm. It's, for me, very tight on the arms. So if you're a dude who lifts, this is going to be tight on you. I like how it looks, though. Like I'm sure it's like, you know, less comfortable than something baggy, but I really like things that are tight on your arms. Yeah, which is most things. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, fits pretty well around the midsection. Um, I would prefer it a little bit longer. Uh, it does stop a little bit short on the waist. The print's really, really good. Mm. Uh, I really do love this one. Yeah, I You'll really... obviously see it better in the try -on. Yeah, I really <laughs> do like this print. Personally, I, I do really like it. This mm. is like so me. Uh, how is it for like stretchiness? Uh, it's very elastic. It's very, very stretchy material. It's very, very mm. thin material. Some people like that. I think it'll be good for the summer, you know? Yeah, I guess. Um, but it is very, very thin. There's almost no weight to this top at all. Mm. Um, which just makes it like super flowy. And then, uh, is it comfortable? Yes, it is comfortable. Okay, good. So this is a large, I'm 5'10 with an athletic build. Um, and this is relatively tight. This is smaller than I would usually like to wear. Um, so just keep that in mind. Mm. You it. haven't checked the ch size charts though, have you, to see if it fits against their measurements? No. Okay. But just going off like other brands then? Mm. Okay.
Uh, this is the long sleeve t-shirt. This actually runs a little bit baggier. It's actually a little bit thicker material too, um, which I liked personally. <clears throat> so this is an XL, which is okay. why this fits better. Okay. Uh, so if you're my height and my build or taller, definitely get yourself an XL. Uh, the print is really awesome, nice and solid. Mm. It's cool that it has like the little holographic moon up there. <laughs> yeah, and a shiny holographic moon. Which I'm hoping is real holographic, because for some reason at the moment the internet gets real mad if you call something holographic when it's not real holographic. I don't know where that's come from. Uh, same questions for this then, like how is it for stretch, how is it for comfort? Uh, not as stretchy as the other, but like that's fine because it's big anyway. Mm. And it's thicker material would you say? Thicker material, yeah. Okay. Uh, it is comfortable. Again, just around the arms, it's very tight. Uh, so if you're a, if you're a buff dude, if you lift, or if uh, you've got a little bit of weight on you, definitely get like a larger size just to make sure that your arms fit it. Yeah, because the sleeves run a little narrow. Yeah, but if you do get it to a top where the, the the arms fit, then at least you know it'll fit around the middle. Mm -hmm. Okay, and last up. And lastly is the hoodie. Mm. So this, I like my hoodies to be heavy and fleecy, mm. uh, whereas this is made all, out of almost the same material as the long sleeve t-shirt. Mm. So, but uh, saying that though, uh, this is part of their spring collection. So obviously they want people to be able to still wear their hoodies through spring. Mm. Um, you know, some people don't like showing the, off their arms or, or whatever. Um, so this is like a nice lightweight hoodie that you can wear even when it's warm outside, mm. to an extent. <laughs> <laughs> like if you live in LA, <laughs> God help you. Uh, pockets, um, it is a little bit tight around the the bottom mm. where the stretchy hem is, but I have a huge ass, so <laughs> pretty much everything I own does that. You thick? Yeah, everything I own does that, and that's genetics, that's not eating. Uh, I love the black studs, the matte black studs, that's cool. Mm. I really like these straps you've got going on. Yeah, okay, so probably a lot of people are going to be asking, like, are the straps annoying as hell? No. Uh, surprisingly, they're not that annoying. I've gotten caught on things that have no straps on them, so... What looks like uh, Triton, who's uh, Raven's dad. Oh, yeah. You know, from... I meant King Triton, <laughs> Little no. Mermaid, and I was like, excuse me? <laughs> you know, Ra Raven's dad from the Teen Titans. Yeah. But yeah, the print, again, very, very good, very solid. Relatively medium elasticity. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's very very lightweight. Mm -hmm. If you prefer your heavy your your hoodies heavier, then look at the heavier stuff. But this is very very lightweight. Mm. I can't remember what this is like on the arms. It's okay on the arms, but it's very very tight. If you have big hands, it's very tight around the sleeve. This bit. Mm. Okay, well you can go. <laughs> okay, so that was everything. I hope you liked this. Uh, let me know what you thought of the sort of like mail haul section of this. You know, if that, is that something you enjoyed or not? I don't know. I just thought it'd be fun since this is like a new collection launching. I hope you did enjoy it anyway. And I hope I answered all of the relevant questions. So as always, thank you so much to Killstar for sending these things. Um, of course, these are provided to me by the brand to show you guys, but this is not a paid or sponsored video. I was just given the items for the video. Before you go, if you could check out my Patreon, I would love that because it supports this channel so, so much. And uh, it is how I keep going and it is so very important. So a big thank you to my Patreon family. I love you all very much. Remember to leave a comment. Also hit thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it. If you're not subscribed yet, consider hitting the subscribe button. If you do, turn on notifications so you don't miss future videos because YouTube's sneaky. And I believe that is everything. I'll see you in the next video. Bye lovelies.